So, do you think you can do anything? Huh? Because I'm kind of in a rush. Huh? I was hoping for more than just huh here. I've got a huge bag of presents that need to get delivered tonight. And, and I'm already way behind schedule on account of waiting for you to get out here. Huh? Honestly, it says right here on, on my triple R card that you'll have someone out to help within 30 minutes. 30 minutes? It took over an hour! Huh? An hour! What am I going to do? Yeah, sorry about that. I had to stop and get a sand. Never mind. Anyway, I'm here now. A what? You were going to say a sandwich, weren't you? No. Then what? A sandblaster? A Santa hat? A salmon? I think we should focus on the problem at hand. Whatever. You say you can't get it to turn over? So, that's a no? In weather like this, you really want to keep it running while you pop down the chimney. This kind of thing can really throw off your schedule. You think? All right, let me see what I can do. Mm. Mm. Nope. Looks like it's really seized up there. Have you got the reins? They're in the sleigh. Yeah! Yeah! Well, nothing. I know nothing. Don't you think I already tried that? Oh, uh, before I forget, can I see your triple R card? Here. Honestly, you'd think Rudolph's reindeer repair would have a few more tricks up their sleeve than this. Uh, when was the last time you had this reindeer serviced? Oh, don't try to weasel out of this. Look, I've got 37 more houses to visit before dawn, and it's already... really dark. Uh, come on! If you can't fix it, do you have some kind of loner I can use? A spare reindeer? Tonight? Ha! You're not serious, are you? Hey, I have an idea. Something that will work really well for some of, or the both of us. I I'll just use yours! Uh, no way, pal! We have strict rules about letting non-employees drive company reindeer. I could lose my job. Then you drive. What are you riding? Impala. Chevy? The other kind, and young. So it's just a single-seater right now. Look. Pinkle, this is important stuff. Do you have any idea what kind of trouble I'll get in if I don't get these presents delivered? There's a reason we all call him Mr. Claus. Sorry, uh, Mr. Dwinky. That's Senior Yuletide Assistant Dwinky to you, Mr. Pinkle. And don't think I don't know what you're trying to pull here. Hey, I'm sorry you're in a bind, but getting angry at me won't speed this up. Now, let me think. Have you checked the plugs? It's a reindeer! It doesn't have spark plugs! Not spark plugs, ear plugs. If it's wearing ear plugs, could be it just can't hear us. He doesn't have ear plugs or nose plugs or hair plugs. It's a it could be a gas problem. What? You know, gas. Was he farting a lot before this happened? No. Uh, so maybe the piping's clogged. The piping's backed up a bit, if you know what I mean. A little discomfort can interfere with. Look, look at him. This is not a reindeer that's backed up a little. Honestly, if I could get him to back up a little, that would be a vast improvement. Oh, oh, wait. I have an idea. 
This is a little trick they teach us first week on the job. Coochie coochie coo! Huh. Nothing. I don't believe this. I do not believe this. <laughs> Say, did you try making that sound? Come. Nope. Huh. Well, there is one other thing that could cause a condition like this. Battery. He's a reindeer! They don't have any- Definitely be a battery problem. Now, have you been hitting him? Assault and battery can sometimes cause- I have not been hitting my reindeer! Are you out of your mind? Whoa, whoa, buddy. Time to switch to decaf. I was just asking a no, question. No. I have to get the rest of these presents delivered. O S G B. O S G B. Or Santa goes ballistic. O S G B. Now, do you have any animals to borrow? Hmm. I've got a pet hamster named Snuggles. Is it part mammoth? No. And how is it going to pull my sleigh? It can't. It's a hamster, Dwinky. Why do you think I want to borrow it? Borrow? I thought you said you wanted an animal to burrow. Why would I want that? I don't know. But the customer's always right, you know? So if you want something to burrow... I then... don't want something to burrow! I want an animal that can pull my sleigh so I can deliver these gifts. Oh, hey. What about a horse? I bet a horse could pull that sleigh. Yes. Yes. Now we're talking. Okay, well, glad I could help. Have a good night. Wait, 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 where are you going? Oh, oh, right. Uh, here's your card back. No! What? Where's my horse? How should I know? You just said you were going to loan me a horse? No, I just said that a horse could definitely pull that sleigh. But I, I didn't say I had one. I hate you. Wow, pretty nasty attitude for an elf on Christmas Eve. Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> Yelling is not good for. I'll stop yelling when you start doing your job. Damn! I pay my triple R dues all year long, and the one time I need. You... There's a bustling sound from off stage. A child fumbling to the door. Uh, uh oh. Oh. Quick, hide. Uh, uh, come here. Here. Here, here, here. Stand here. Dwinky positions Pinkle next to the front pair of legs, and he stands by the back pair to obscure them just as Susie comes out yawning. And when she speaks, she has a, a little trouble with her R's and L's. Hello. Hello. Hey. Are you elves? Yes. Yes, we are. Where's the quest? <laughs> Where? Where? Oh. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. I work for Santa Claus. Santa's wonderful. Uh, he's not as great as... Yes! <laughs> Yes, he is. Very wonderful. <laughs> My mommy says if that I'm if I'm a good girl, I yell long, then Santa will bring me a What's that? What are you doing? I never checked the exhaust system. Are you trying to traumatize little Susie here? My daddy says 
said, Santa's wrist is a breach of privacy. Well, that's not exactly. He says that the hippos work to protect our privacy. He says what? The hippos have rules about sharing data. Hippos, like... Uh-huh. Hippo was... Right about now, Pinkle's curiosity has grown, and he starts trying slowly and innocuously to check out the reindeer's, well, you know, exhaust system again. Hippo. Hippo! Hippo! <laughs> right! Hippo laws. Sure, sure. Well, you don't need to worry. Santa wouldn't do anything to hurt. Is that a reindeer? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a reindeer. <laughs> What's he doing to the- Whoa, Pinkle, 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 Pinkle! Just, uh, uh, Pinkle just, um, dropped some candy canes and was going to pick them up, but we don't need them. Got, got plenty, really. Yeah, but... Later. At this point, Pinkle comes up with the brilliant idea to make the scene a little less gruesome. He gets, she gets some Christmas lights and starts stringing them between, upon the reindeer's hooves. What's wrong with you, reindeer? Well, you see what we have here. This reindeer is, well, what's the technical term? Kaput. What? Kaput. You know, deceased, demised, defunct. Do you mind? Defunct? Dead. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, hey. I just had an idea. What? Susie. Do you have a defibrillator in your house by any chance? Or uh, maybe just a car battery? Anything that would generate a huge electrical- Okay! That's enough of that. Maybe he's just sweeping. You know what? That's right. <laughs> he's just taking a nap, all tired out. But if he's a sweep, how will you develop all the presents? Yeah. Yeah, that's a great question. You could use my bicycle. If only. What, what was that? My bicycle. It's in the garage. You, you don't mind? Come on, I'll show you. That's great! Let me just grab. Grinky grabs a big bag of presents from the sled. And as he, as she and Susie start to head off, Pinkle Ooh. calls out. Hey, what do you want me to do with? Just give it a toe. We you don't have toes, silly. Grinky and <laughs> Susie exit. Pinkle takes a hard look at the reindeer, grabs a leg and tries to pull it. It doesn't budge. Lights out. <laughs> <laughs>